Your lack of threat has me concerned. You seem... There you go. Is that a dragon? What? What is this? I got... Uh, whoa! Whoa! No! No! <laughs> this video has been brought to you thanks to the support of the wonderful folks over at patreon.com and it is linked in the video description if you would like to join them for as little as one dollar per month thank you once again to them oh god thirty thousand runes for that incredibly hard fight uh does it tell me my current hp 14 well, it was probably slightly lower than that a few seconds ago we need to check to see if this is a dead end but first of all i'm going to rest <laughs> the poison almost i can't believe i did that that was such a clutch, dude. I had no health for the longest time. I picked this up even though there's nothing there. Oh my word. Ooh, I got the heart rate going, I tell you. Resting coffin. Beware of dragon. Wow, thanks for the spoilers, buddy. I suppose it's possible this will take us to another area. Uh, and there might be a boss there. Because, <clears throat> as we know, there are three bosses here that we didn't do. But if this is not the eternal city that we end up in after this coffin. Sure. I'm glad I checked this properly because I really thought this would be a dead end. I almost didn't even examine this coffin. I thought it was just part of the scenery. They do like... Okay. <laughs> okay, sure. I was going to say, they do like you traveling in coffins in these games. I think it's how you, like, change your gender in Dark Souls 2. That's how you meet Nito in Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 3, I'm pretty sure it's a thing, but I don't remember. Oh, there's also, like, a coffin you, like, slide down an icy slope in, right? In the Dark Souls 2 DLC. I suppose it probably happens in Bloodborne. There's many coffins in that game. I've no idea what to expect here, by the way. None. Well, I guess now I know to expect a dragon. Thanks to that guy. <laughs> man, oh man. <laughs> we look like something from Star Wars. Like living on Tatooine or something. Is Tatooine a cold planet? I don't know. I really don't know where I am. Deep root depths. Okay. Never heard of this place. Well, to be fair, I haven't heard of most of the places that we uh, that we end up visiting. There's definitely a few where I'm like, ah, oh, I've heard, I've heard this name mentioned before. This one, no. Hmm. This is a holy weapon. This is not going to do really much of anything against him. Let's change straight back to the old Blasphemous Blade. Let's be honest, I've earned it. Uh, you know, after the gargoyles, I don't think you're going to be a problem, brother. i got to be honest with you. I did kind of forget that that caused that. I wonder if you'll respawn. My money's on no. Because even the one in the... Whoa, even the one in the capital didn't? I don't know, it's always possible this is a higher level area than the capital. But... I doubt it. So... A difficult boss to get here, certainly. 10,000 runage, Staff of the Avatar. That's right. We still didn't check out the gargoyle weapons. And they, I don't really remember what they were called, but I think they had gargoyle in the name, so they can't be that hard to find. Okay, so it was either the Gargoyle's Great Axe or the Black Axe. I think it was probably the Black Axe. Because there seems to be a black version of each weapon. And uh, we got this from this guy. Uh, which is a holy... Oh, it's actually like a striking weapon. Oh. Huh. 35... Okay, so it's like a, a holy strength weapon. Interesting, interesting. I almost forgot about the Falling Star Beast Jaw. Sorry, I mean the Falling Star Beast Jaw. I think we got this whole bird, pretty sure. That might have been it. It might have been the Black Axe and the Hallbird. Something along those lines? Sure, we'll go with that as a theory. Alright, let's let's uh, let's rest and see if this dude comes back. Honestly, i got no qualms about killing him again. He, he won't, though. He dropped his weapon. Seems like any time an enemy drops stuff like that, it just goes straight into your inventory and not on the ground. So it's a guaranteed drop, then the enemy doesn't respawn. So. 
may as well get our flask back. Not that we use that many, but why not? I hear a treasure gobble. This feels... I, I say this every time, but it does feel like bait. It does seem to be bait, doesn't it? I'm just going to ignore whatever you are. Oh, you're a giant ant. No! Ah. Golden land. Golden land something. <laughs> oh, damn. Seems like hitting them in the ass. Wait, no, maybe not. I don't know. Why did you Why did you take so much damage that the other guy didn't? Oh, that's your head. I thought it was your ass. Oh, so hit them in the It's an armored head. Okay, that's 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 what happened then. Hey, whoa, whoa, dude! Well, let's be honest. I did not realize that was an attack. But you know, you uh, you die and you learn. What have I learned? What well, I've learned, I kind of want to spam the blasphemous blade at them. Runes acquired. You know. I didn't I did say I wouldn't spam it, but everyone gets one. Right in the ass. That was awesome. Alright, no 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 no. Yeah, okay. Oh the fire seems quite effective. Lovely. We get to use the blasphemous blade again. And again, I've bloody well earned it after that. You see what I just went through? Yeah you did. We use our horse here. Oh hell yeah, dude, didn't mean to drink that, but honestly not the end of the world. There's a surprising amount of blood here. Well, I guess the Ur Tree Guardians probably wiped them all out. Though at this point in the game, I feel like you should be pretty used to fighting Ur Tree Guardians. There is quite a lot of them. And they're just normal enemies now. Well, I suppose they're mini bosses still, but. I don't know. Alright, we definitely have to go across this branch to get over there. However, let's go search in this direction first. There's like a milky river. Looks lovely and inviting. This really reminds me of that place in Sekiro. You know the one with the ghostly dudes. I didn't want to fall off here. I'm alive. Okay, we can go down there as well. Sure, why not? Let's go down before we go up. Someone apparently landed on that branch and left a message. Impressive. Pointless, but impressive. This seems rather dangerous. Hmm, I'm just gonna get off, uh, do, uh, okay. I think we can go that way. Oh my word. Yes, but only just. Okay, so this is like proper ant town. We saw some ants earlier. A lot more different ants here. This is proper ant town. You know what? It's gotta be done, hasn't it? <laughs> like I was just pushing the flying guy. What? No. That doesn't make no sense. What? What? <laughs> what was that, dude? Hello? No, 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 no. Oh, we're just getting an awkward range battle. It's like when you're playing, like, Battlefield or something, and you're sniping, and you're having a whale of a time, and then another sniper starts taking pot shots at you, but they can't hit you. And then you start shooting back, and then they start ducking away, so you can't hit them. And then you're just having a pointless sniper fight, and neither of you can hit each other? Do you follow me? Have any of you played a first-person shooter with that? And you snipe? It, it happens every damn time, dude. Every damn time. And every time, they will not leave you alone. I'm like, bro, if we just, like, had a truce, we could pick off the entirety of our team. And I know you're going to be like, well, that's not really team playing. Yeah, but it's a lot more fun than uh, let's just distract each other and achieve absolutely nothing beyond that. But maybe that's just me. Maybe I like fun. I I pressed jump, but I pressed it too late. There's a certain level of irony of me saying I like fun and then plummeting to my death. It is not lost upon me. For perspective, by the way, I think those gargoyles, and I'm kind of guessing here, because obviously... I was fighting them for a bit a couple of days ago. I want to say they took me about 30 to 40 minutes. Probably a... Yeah, probably about 40. Most of the hard bosses thus far have taken me pretty much exactly an hour. Moog, we've already fought him for, I think, over an hour. And not even really close to success. But I think when we get that tier... Where 
am I, by the way? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, just for perspective, very quickly, post-commentary, obviously, the tier that I just mentioned and then immediately got distracted and didn't talk about, uh, basically, it's part of the rambly dialogue that I cut from the previous episode, but in that I said that there is apparently a tier that you can put in your flask that makes the bleed when uh, you get to phase two of Moog way less deadly. Like, you still take a bit of damage, but it's it's minute. Like, it's not, you don't even really need to heal. So, uh, yeah. What I was trying to say there was when we get that tier, it will make a huge difference. Or will it? This is going to be really hard to get back without losing my runes, which is quite upsetting, but... My word, I've actually done it. Well, I shouldn't say that yet. I've got to kill these enemies. Exactly. Okay. Okay. All right. Be very careful. I would like those runes. There they are. Yeah, Momo going to think it's taking us over an hour or thereabouts. Um... But when, I think when we get that crimson tier, whatever thing that stops him from just taking like three plus flasks out of us at the start of phase two, plus then I won't have to stand there healing and can stand there doing damage to him at the start of phase two, it'll make our lives so much easier. I don't want to say we'll like one shot him because we probably won't, but it will probably not take that many more attempts. I, I feel like that has been the real kicker for why we've had so much trouble with him. This seems quite dangerous. I think that's the music. I thought I heard a treasure gobble. Right, so I did see there's a purple item there at the tip of my sword. At least I think it was purple and it's like a cave entrance. I think we have to come out of that as opposed to go in it. So I think we got to loop around, basically. No enemy just standing there waiting to knock me off the edge? I am surprised by this. So you're a braver man than I am standing on the horse doing that. Am I the only one that was disappointed that that was a gold rune five? Like, five? In this area? Well, then again, I suppose I don't know how high level this area is supposed to be, but... Thanks. Um, so, by the way, I, I remember hearing people say that there was a hidden area within a hidden area. So, I don't know if I am now in... I don't know if it's this place. It might be. It seems possible, right? It depends. Do they consider ne Necron to be a hidden area? It wasn't that easy to find, so maybe... Do you consider this hidden? Because I had to get in the casket to get here? I'm not sure. Not sure if it's this or if it's something else people are talking about. I'm just going to smash you up. That seemed like the, the smart thing to do. As did this. Your lack of threat has me concerned. You seem... There you go. I was about to say you seem way too easy. Also, am I the only one that feels like that was way too much damage? Like, there was too easy, and then there was like, you one shot the absolute bejesus out of me. So, wouldn't be surprised if that's another bugged enemy, sort of similar to the dog situation, because that was absurd. Like, they were, they were chipping me, and then just bam. It kind of absurd. That wasn't like that was a status effect, that was just an attack. So, uh, I, I don't know about that one, Chief, i got to be honest with you. I'm going this way. I'm not going that way. This way still seems safer. No, no! <laughs> well, there go the runes. It happened again. It happened again. I accidentally just pressed jump slightly too late, and then I did a little pathetic double jump into nowhere. Well, I suppose it was somewhere. It was it was a pit. Well, whatever. We've lost way more runes than that. I mean, now that I say that out loud, that doesn't really console me. That just makes me even sadder. It's like losing one of your arms and going, well, you know, lost both my legs before. I'm like, eh. I don't think that makes it any better. Oh, well, yeah, at least we found this. I wonder if there's going to be a merchant here, because there's a lantern. Why would there be a lantern here? It don't make no damn sense. Are you trying to mate? That's weird and unacceptable. Sex is a sin, don't you know? Uh, no, 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 no. Trying to two-hand. Excuse me, get out the damn way. 
Yeah. Yeah, you deserve that. Yeah, you deserve that. It's very dark in here. How many bloody queens you got? I was gonna be like, they're not queens actually. Well, then I don't know what they are. Whatever they are, you have a lot of them. They seem friendly, right? No! Obi? Do you get one from every one of those? Dude? Hello? Get off the screen. Ah! Ah! Does this sword actually... This sword actually just heals you, doesn't it? I thought it was the special attack. It seems like just any hit with this sword heals you. Just because he's a little slow? <gasps> Something was said. Not good. What was it? Slow? They call you slow! How dare you call me that? I... It's ludicrous, man. How's this thing this broken? Okay. <laughs> Why not? Why not just have an absurd amount of runes? I guess that makes up for our rune loss. Uh, and also the fact that we picked up a gold rune 5. And I was like, oh, that seems pretty cheap. And they're like, here's all these runes of Numera. Or Numen. What is Numera? I've heard the name Numera before. You new fellas? This is why the Blasphemous Blade was invented. It's like, these are really not that much of a threat. I'm just saving time by cleaving them in two with fire. Ah, and this is the thing that we saw. Oh, this was purple? I guess not. How many runes did I get out of that? Actually, 13,000 on their bed. Elven Stars. That's right, we did get another spell not that long ago, and I still haven't checked it. Can't remember what it was... Oh, it was, uh, it was an Art of War. It was... I think it was Golden Land. Grants affinities and skills to an armament. What? <laughs> it's not that helpful. Uh, here we go. Elden Stars. 50 Faith. Creates a stream of golden shooting stars that assail the area. Hmm. Yes. Sounds like it is probably absurdly powerful. Hence the 50 requirement. Hello. Goodbye. This time, yeah, there you go. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Guess who's gonna whap out the Blasphemous Blade? That's right, it's me! After you one shot me last time, mm, kinda bullshit, just saying. No, no, why are you like this? Why are you like this? Get whacked, son! And I ain't talking about no wet ass pussy, please? No! No. Why did you? Why? I think I know why that attack does so much damage. And I'll, I will explain for you. I could be wrong, but obviously this is this is speculation. But I think it's pretty reasonable. So, what I think happened when he spurted in my face, and I just got one shot. I think ba so. Basically, when you get hit by an AOE in a video game, right? They have a tick system. For example, the poison in the, um... This is infuriating. For example, the poison in the gargoyles fire, right? Obviously, it goes... Tick, 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 and hits you, like, every, like, half a second or something. A tick is, like, 0 0.6, 0 0.6 of a second. So, it's probably one hit per tick. So, almost two per second. Uh, is the way to think about that. So, what I think is happening with this, like, spooge attack that they do... Uh, I don't think it's ticking properly, and it's essentially just hitting you, like, an infinite number of times. Instead of... a tick. But I'm purely guessing. But that seems to be the case. Or it may be, maybe not infinite, but it seems to be hitting you, like, multiple times per tick. So, again, I'm speculating. I can't be certain of that, but that's my best guess from what I know about video games. For example, a spell that, like, pops out of the ground to hit the player. I think something, like, in Dark Souls 1, right? Like, that Nito attack that he does. Where he's, he stabs his sword in the ground, then one pops out underneath you. I think hits you once, right? And, again, the way that works is essentially when it hits you or the enemy or whoever, it is programmed to have a cooldown in which the enemy, the player, or whoever is getting hit by it is immune to it. Uh, for long enough that the spell then has worn off. So even though it may s physically still be there, you've been hit by it once and then it retracts or whatever. 
That's the best way I can explain. It's not that easy to explain. Hello. Gods in this game. Godfrey, oh, Godwin, sweet Godric, should have died a true death. Geodfroy. As the first of the demigods to die. As a martyr to destined death. But why must it yet bring such disgrace? A scion of the Golden Bow, sentenced to live in death. How could such a thing come to be? Oh. Nope, I still don't understand. Uh, I guess that's where we're going next. There is a dude in the horse there who looks... I don't know if that's a tree sentinel or just one of those dudes in the gold, like, Lendell armor. I think it's a Lendell armor. Dude, let's be honest. We took out the draconic tree sentinel without too much trouble. We absolutely smashed the crap out of the double tree sentinels. I mean, I loaded them one at a time, but still, I killed them on, like, one inventory of flasks without any trouble whatsoever. Uh, you know, another tree sentinel doesn't exactly scare me. We cannot even remotely close to level up. However, let's see how many runage we get from a rune of num Numa Numa Hay. That's obscene. I'm gonna use them all. Let's get a level up, shall we? I think we're like 49. It says we're 52 vigor, but that's because we have uh, talismans that boost our boost our vigor. I think we might be 49 still. I'm not sure. Yes, we are. Boom. Now we're 50. All right. I guess we're just gonna put stuff into faith beyond this point. Maybe mana again at some point. Stamina. Not really been that much of an issue, especially when you got turtlenecks. All right. I just took a break to eat. We can go that way. Where, is there an ant just... The tip of my sword? Is that an ant just living inside the edge of the waterfall? I gotta be honest with you, that seems impossible as far as physics go. But, you know, it is a fantasy video game where there are giant ants. Uh, and I'm shooting fiery magic from my sword that has little wriggling arms on it. So... You know, I suppose when you say it out loud like that, you're like... An ant clinging onto the side of a waterfall suddenly doesn't seem that ridiculous. This, you know what I'm gonna say, feels like an ambush. Hmm, kind of. Hello. I guess I'll just miss you with every single swing. It's cool. Okay, that is... That is actually becoming incredibly annoying. How do we deal with annoyance? Blasphemous blade, baby! And to that, he's like, mm, I'm going to jump five ways again. Oh, there's a lot. That's, that's too many. That's too many. Uh, I, why are you like this? Nope. Nope. Extremely close, but nope. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Are they dead? No. <laughs> They're actually... <laughs> what? There's like four more, dude? Well, now, now there's... Now there's less. Uh, dude, my health is real bad. Uh, sorry, not health. My, um... Eat it. My... You know, the thing? The, the bar. The, the build-up of the, the death status effect. Dude, why don't they just call it curse again? It's so death status. That's some Final Fantasy stuff right there. Don't make no damn sense. Eh. Ah. Oh. Eh. Back. Back, foul beasts. Get the shield ready, because why not? Get clobbered. Alright, I don't want you to spin it there for, brother. You know what? No. Why are you... Like, why? What? There's so many! There's more! This is lunacy. Don't jump out of the way. Don't jump out of the way. Don't jump out of the way. Lovely. Nope. I didn't even see you there. What's that noise? I don't know what that is. I'm not entirely convinced that I want... <laughs> I love this weapon. not entirely convinced I do want to know. Look how many I've killed. 
Is that a dragon? What what is this? I still don't know what you are. You're just a goggle spitting stuff, I guess? We saw one of these. Why are you like this? We saw one of these in um in the Lindell sewers. I hope I'm pronouncing Lendell correctly, because every time I say it, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Ah. Hey, thank you for derping. Much appreciated. Well, it seems like a rather unthreatening enemy, I've got to be honest. I suppose maybe if I just stood right in front of him, things might have turned out differently, but... That's like saying if I jumped off a cliff, I would have, you know, fell to my death. Like, well, obviously, yes. Uh... Really? There's another one. Get clowned out of midair, son. There, there's, there's more, dude. There's actually more. Oh, no, that's bad. I want to deal with the dude on the horse, but there, there's another one! What is going on? No! Why won't you die? Oh, my God. No, 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 uh, 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 another one, another one, all over, thank you, good lord almighty man, good lord almighty, <laughs> this dude looks like he's gonna be hella dangerous, hopefully he doesn't have the death status effect, or, you know, Basilisk with him? There's another one. Tip of my sword. There's another one of those, like, sitting down, useless fire breathing gargoyles, and there's another one there as well, I think. And there seems to be one right there. Okay, there's a lot of them. Hello! Can you get me from there? No. Almost, actually. Are you, like, hello? What's this guy doing? He's really annoying. <laughs> I got uh, Whoa, whoa, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, terrific. What? What are you doing, brother? Alright, no, that's just. This must end today. Oh, wait, he's dead? Oh. I really didn't think you were dead. Alright, so we can't just ignore those things. Oh boy. Um, let's see if we can find another way around. Hello, I did try and equip my horse. There we go. If you, like, fall off of a slight incline, like a curb, message was appraised, baby. Then, uh, like, as you're trying to equip the horse, they're just like, nah. Alright, so where is this on the map? Is it underground? Yes, which makes sense, actually. Okay. You're pe I can see you there. Oh, you're dead. That guy is not. Hmm. Very cool area. Really like it so far. Really not a fan of quite how many basilisks there are. I mean, they haven't really proved... Wow, I was scratching my nose. They haven't really proved that much of a threat. I don't know where they're coming from, dude. Like, I guess they just live in bushes. They're just kind of an annoyance, really. Like, it seems... See what I mean? It seems like the little smoky clouds that they make are much bigger than they were in Dark Souls 1. At least it feels that way. And, you know, there was like one little sewer section in Dark Souls 1. Not even the whole of the sewers, just a very small part of the sewers where the basilisks were. And to the best of my knowledge... No, actually, I think there were some in the, um... In that tree that you climbed down the inside of. Can't remember the name of it. I think there were some there as well. I digress. The, the point is, there were... Even if you like, added up every Basilisk in Dark Souls 1, I still think it would be way less than what we've just killed mere seconds ago. And as you can see, there is more. I I can't tell if they're spawning here, dude. It feels like they are. I'm trying to be very careful, because obviously we've got a lot to explore, and if we die, they're all coming back to life. And that is just a horrible thought. I do not wish, in any way, shape, or form, to have to try and kill all of them again. 
Okay, sure. Let's go in here now. Any basilisks? Wouldn't be surprised, dude. Alright, how's this gonna work? Just gonna hydrate. Okay, it's kinda kinda how I thought that would happen. You get what you deserve, Murray! Alright. So they're kind of like turrets. They're dangerous from a distance. Ash of War Vacuum Slice. Okay, got many, many, many Ashes of War, but the problem with that, as you may have noticed, is that most of the time I'm using a weapon that has a unique Ash of War, or a unique weapon art, whatever you want to call it. But, like, you don't want to get rid of it. They're only really good if you're using a weapon with a garbage weapon art, and I'm not. There's a treasure gobble through the wall, I believe. Right through here, I think. Yep. He survived that, huh? Survived that, you son of a bitch! Nope, that's not the somber smithing stone I'm looking for. I didn't mean to do that, but that was a nice combo, actually. Yeah, it's a nice combo. We like the architecture around here. Very cool. Very different. More ants. And a jumpy bit. Oh dear. We'll do the jumpy bit last. Oh, I thought I heard a bell. Okay. Oh, this is like a full on zone, man. I thought this would just be like a little tiny area. Hello, stuck on the ledge. Worth it. Thanks for the bootay. Alright, yeah, we'll go... Mm, yeah, watch out, Jack. Uh, I don't know. I feel like we're missing a lot around here. That yeah, was close. Uh, right, looks like, yeah, we can get on that branch. Ah, that's right. There were dudes. Ah, see, this is the problem. If they chase me... There's another... What the hell? If they chase me, we ran into trouble, you know? They could just block me in or something. Know what I'm saying? You know, I thought that would be pretty good. This guy's like, huh? I know something happened, but I don't have ears. What did I just see over there? I swear I saw something over there moving. I probably did. It was probably a basilisk. Alright, looks like we need to go as this way. Hang on, there's a little ruin here. Nothing. Oh, sure, we'll touch this. Why not? Not gonna rest, because, oh my god, it will respawn all of them, and no thank you. No thank you. I just want to get the loot up on the brush. Can we drive by this dude on the horse? Actually, I don't think they can turn around, can they? <laughs> what a weird enemy. Alright, works for me, I guess. Alright, do you need to bear in mind that one could probably shoot me from there. I wonder if that's a lift, by the way. You see, uh, tip of my sword, that, that gazebo thing. Uh, we saw one earlier, actually, at, like, the start of Necron, so probably not. But you can never be completely certain. I almost fell off there. I don't see any lootations down there. Let's go deal with this guy. Once I stop getting stuck on the wall. I suspect these won't re- No, I bet they do respawn, actually. I bet they do. Feels like it'd be too easy if they didn't. What if you can get on that roof? You see, again, tip of my sword. There's like a branch that goes towards that. Let's have a look. This is gonna hurt. Oh, it didn't hurt. Mmm. I'm like, maybe? No, I don't think so. Alright, let me. Give me a second. Oh boy, I think we need to go that way. Let's, let's see if there's a way around over here. That feels very dangerous to be going that way. Oh, speaking of dangerous ambush. Prince of Death's staff. Fancy. Uh, where are my staves at, man? Like down here, I think. Uh, it's got really not good scaling, but it's for death sorcery. I didn't even know there was such a thing. Interesting. Well, there you go. Again, another specialized staff. There is lootations down there on the roof. 
It is purple. I'm gonna get off the horse, otherwise I'm gonna fling myself off the edge. Oh, there you leaves. Or leaves. I'm surprised that was not full damage. Mitten stone seven. Not what we're looking for. But we're also not gonna say no. Because now that I think about it, we did want to upgrade the uh, the claws if we could, right? No reason not to, really. Oh, hell, there ain't you, buddy. Alright, let's be very careful. I do not wish to die. He actually looks quite dangerous. You know, that was my fault. I, I don't know why I try and go for the guard counter after the... Uh... I don't know why I try and go for the guard counter after one hit. You know they're not going to hit you once. You just did it again. Jason, pay attention. Take your own advice. Oh, come on. It look, it, he, he keeps doing slow attacks, so I'm like, oh, he is actually just doing one hit. It's never one hit, Jason. Ever. Doesn't matter how slow it is, it's never one hit. Never. Looks like we can get up there. Or down there. Possible, because we did see that uh, smoky spirit spring. What's it's called, right? Let's let's go this way. Let's not go towards the dude. Let's go around the dude. Can I jump over? No. I feel unsafe here. Yeah, yeah, I was right. Where'd go? Where'd go? Alright, well, this is precarious as hell, dude. He's done it. He's actually done it. Yeah, that was, that was precarious. Love it. Alright, and there was... Ooh, hello. There was another one. Uh, yes, down there. It can't go upwards, can it? It can! Can I... Will this work? Hang on. Better be very, very careful here. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to throw myself off the edge, man. If my character steps too far, we're going straight down there. And we will die, because we will not land on the, on the branch. That's the end of dead chip there. I actually I didn't realize there was a guy there. How do I get to him? How do I get down from here safely? I feel remarkably unsafe. Ooh, maybe that is how. Alright, let's kill this dude first. Against my better judgment. Yeah, no, we should be fine. Yeah, 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 we're fine. And you know what? Why not? Alright, let's hope they don't respawn, but to be honest, if they do, it's not a huge deal now because we can come from this side of grace. Assuming I get there without falling. He's done it. That looks like a boss arena. If ever I've seen one, am I being invaded? What's happening? Ah, I know what that is. That is just an area we're not allowed to use a horse. That's what that is. Huh. Well, we have cure poison. I don't know if that's poison. It doesn't look like rot to me. Oh, uh, level up. Okay. Let me use a rune of some description to get 4,000. Uh, sure. This is way more than 4,000, but I'm lazy. And then we'll get another level in faith. I need to stop doing that every time. Um, there we go. Beautiful. Oh yeah, we never explored down the ground. Oh, we'll do that later. Don't let me forget. Please. I don't want to run all the way back. Oh. oh god, oh god, you almost flung me into the pit below. Is this poison? It really, I mean, it's purple. There's a lot of blood stains in here. Oh god, what is that? Alrighty, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much to this month's patrons. Patreon.com slash MrAnsonLP if you would like to join them. I genuinely could not do this without their support. Thank you so much to them. Their names this month are... Elizabeth Chen, Fibkin, LT, Trimagnus, Malcolm Davis, Aaron Bridges, Darth Hamos, Conrad82, 
Lime Green Daggy, Israfel, Meep Sheep, I Am Scarecrow 666, Edith W, Justin Alexander, Nickerin, Trent123, Bloodpire, Rex Burham, Awena 1997, Luna Parker, Black Wolf 8994, Miss Justice 83, George Blackwell, Shadow Sephiroth 666, Billy Nying, Hitbox, KP Shadow Squirrel, Loot Smoke Soldier, Jonathan Eriks, Philip Rep, and Dr. Pepper Penguin. Thank you so much, everyone, and I'll see you next time.